Hurrah! It feels so good to have you back. Thank you so much for your help. I know it got a little weird back there. I appreciate you still helping me anyway. Hey, it's all in the past, Petra. Just happy to reunite you with your favorite deadly weapon. Oh, and it feels so good. What is that? Sign didn't stop that. Or those. Well, it's a lot of creepers. And they're charged? That should be impossible. Tell them that. Yeah. Yeah. Cheap sword. I got you covered, Jesse. Ugh. So good to have you back. No, you don't! Oh, that would have been dumb if it wasn't so awesome! Oh, come on. We need to get this thing covered up again. We're gonna get this to hold. That heck mouth blew right through the ground. First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers. We need to get to Jack's fast. Yeah, I hope this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does. He does. He's gotta. Come on, I'll show you the way. Welcome to Bad Luck Alley. Wow, I didn't even know people hung out down here at night. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, you know, these are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're in charge. You know that. Well, then these people are dumb. Just because I'm the boss doesn't mean I can't mix it up. Uh-huh. Sure, sure. Should be somewhere down here, I think. Wait, have you never been here before? You said you knew a guy. Okay, not know him, know him, I know of him. Okay, fine. He's a legend, all right? He was once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world. And he's kind of a hero of mine. What should I say? What should I do? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. But what if he invites me to go adventuring with him? Hey, you're a great adventurer too, Petra. Just play it cool around him. Well, I mean, I'm no Jack, but I'll give it a shot. Good advice. Jack and Nurm's Adventure Emporium. Yep, that's our place. Man, I've always wanted an excuse to come here. Spider Peak Mountain, the Ice Crags of Doom. Uh -oh. 
It's just like I told you! Jack might be the best adventurer in town. This stuff is from all over the world. See, Petra? Beacon Town has some pretty cool stuff too, huh? Oh, uh, well, I mean, what's cool about all of this is that it isn't from Beacon Town, though. But you've got a good point. This is a, a big win for Beacon Town. <clears throat> Welcome to Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. <gasps> I mean, sup? You push the button. Very, very brave. Uh, thanks? I think? You're not being sarcastic, right? I don't make a habit of it. <gasps> the warriors of the Whispering Mountain call me the Stab Walker. The Air Titans of the East call me he who slashes like thunder. But you may call me Jack. Lots of names too. The the people of Sky City called me the the Ground Finder. Other people know me as the Wither Slayer. You can call me uh, Jesse. <sighs> cool names. So what can I do for you today? Desert Temple, Woodland Mansion. I Whoa. Yeah, that's what we're here about. Oh, uh, wow, huh? Crazy glove you got there. Not that I've ever seen one before. Uh, looks real crazy, though. Crazy stuff. Jack, look at yourself. We know you're lying. Why? Yeah, uh, be straight with us, um, Daddy-o. I... that is, uh, um... Found it on top of a creepy bottomless pit, right? Spitting out monsters. Yeah, and it had a slot with, like, a weird symbol. <sighs> you should have never picked up that gauntlet. It's not for us mortals to tamper with. But it was whispering my name. And that made you want to pick it up more? That pit, it's as deadly as they come. And that symbol you saw was the symbol of the structure block. Legend says it was a mighty tool that could grow civilizations like seeds, create cities in the blink of an eye. You need one of those to close your pit. So where can I get one of these structure blocks? Petra thought maybe an ocean monument because of the prismarine? Oh, it's an ocean monument, all right. The villagers of Mushroom Archipelago call it the Sea Temple. Hmm. Hmm. No, no, no problem. Guys, this is Nerm, my other half. He's the genius behind all of our fine maps. Nerm, this is Jesse and Petra. Hmm. Hi. Sup? What are you doing with your hands? I was just about to tell these two that I can't help them. What? I love your early work. Witherstorm, old builders, awesome. But as a purveyor of fine maps and adventures, your death would be terrible for business. But... Sorry. I just can't. Jack, come on. Do I really need to list off all the amazing things we've done to prove that we're tough enough to handle this? We can take anything you throw at us. <sighs> Let me show you something. It's like I said before. The world's a lot bigger than you think it is, Jesse. Let me guess, the empty square is where we need to go. 
Yep. And it's missing because... I, uh... kind of burned it. I threw it into a volcano, okay? What? Why? You didn't need that kind of danger anyway, all right? I swore I wouldn't take anyone else to that temple ever again. I refuse to let it take any more lives. Hmm. <sighs> Shut up, Nurm. What? Jack, you don't understand. We need that map. And I hear you. I really do. But I swear to you, it's not worth it. I found a gauntlet just like that once. Teamed up with my friends Voss and Sammy to follow its trail. Neither of them made it out alive. Hence, uh, you know, lava, map, volcano. You remember what I was saying, anyway. But burning the map couldn't erase the horrible memories. And thanks to the curse of my perfect sense of direction, I couldn't forget the location of that temple if I tried. So, if you're the only one who knows where it is... Yep. Without me, you never get into that sea temple. That knowledge is... my curse. Jack, Jack, sounds to me like it's your lucky day. Petra and I have a lot of great experience helping people get over their tragic backstories. We do? Yeah. Yeah, we'll tackle that temple together. You know what? You've inspired me. I mean, am I the Velvet Tornado or aren't I? You are, right? Yes. Then yeah, that's the spirit! Nerm, time to get our adventuring things. Mm. Jesse, it's perfect. Structure block, sea temple. I know, it's amazing. It's almost too good to be true. Ah, yes! Oh, by the way, am I doing a good job playing it cool? Uh, think he thinks I'm cool? I know I was a little awkward at first. Oh, yeah, you've been very cool. Very natural. I'm trying really hard, but I was feeling really good about it back there. Wow. I told you, it's not the admin. Ah, mm -mm. oh, fine. What did he say? Nothing. Villager stuff. Nurm here wants to make a new map of this place. Uh, what with the uh, whole lava volcano incident. <laughs> That's awesome, Nurm. Welcome aboard. Woohoo! He says, woohoo! Yeah, I figured that out. So that means we're off to the Sea Temple? Don't you think you're looking a little... squishy for that? Seriously? I mean, you're wearing a vest. The Vest of Five Fists? Gifted to me by the Singing Clerics of Port... Okay, geez, I get it. It's a cool vest. Come on, I just need to make a quick pit stop and I can show you some real armor. Glad you're here. Hey, Radar. There is a lot going on. Someone still needs to finalize the ideas for the Founding Day banners. The cake baking team can't agree on what color to make the front of their shop. The Woolmakers Guild isn't super Radar. happy about their booth being next to the Firework Union. Understandable. The delegate from Boomtown left word that she wanted to make a speech at the parade. Very odd. Blue hair. Radar. Smells like sulfur. Speaking of which, you should probably work on your Founding Day keynote address. Oh, and rehearse it. Why didn't I factor in rehearsal time? Stupid, stupid! I'm sure I can shift a few things around, maybe push back your lunch with the followers of Soren. They're very strange anyway, they'll understand. Maybe. And did you know Lucas left another draft for you to look at? I said you'd try and give notes when possible, but not to get his hopes up. And then I left a general block of time for founding day-related disasters. I figured that would cover any of the various and sundry things that come up. Ah! Sorry, got in the zone there. Uh, what's up, boss? I see you brought friends. And a new accessory? Short version, the town's in danger. I stopped it for now, but I think this can help me fix it permanently. I'll be gone for a little bit. G gone? But, Jesse, what about Beacon Town? Founding Day is right around the corner, and if it's really in, in, in danger, who will protect everyone? There's no telling what could happen! Why don't you try leading them, pal? What? Me? 
try not to explode. Ah! Jesse, I won't let you down. I know you won't. Good luck, boss. Beacon Town will be waiting for you when you get back. Sure. Ha! Um, goodbye. Hey. <laughs> you said it. Can't believe that's your assistant. He's more wound up than a pack of parrots with a jukebox. Or a creeper in a herd of cats. Or a squid in a, I don't know, a box or something. Anyway, he's real nervous is what I'm saying. He's a little nuts, but his heart's in the right place. <sighs> if you say so. So, where's this armor of yours? Oh, wow. You got some pretty cool stuff here. Stuff I've never... Uh, probably only seen, you know, once or twice. Not as cool as my stuff, obviously, but uh, you're well on your way. Definitely on your way to becoming a big hero like me. Yeah, you ever fought a Witherstorm or the old builders? Well, yeah, well, well uh, no, not specifically those, but, uh, you know, I did stuff. Wanna cool the ego there, Jesse? Jack's done some amazing stuff, too. Hey, wait, is this not where you keep your armor anymore? Yeah, I'm not seeing any armor. No? No, I just had Olivia install a little upgrade while she was here. Stone Riot. Beautiful engineering on this one. I like the glowy bits. That's a technical term. Golden Goliath. Always loved how shiny this one is. Yeah, just like the prideful warriors of the Shimmering Plains. So tough, they like to make sure their enemies can always see them coming. The Ender Defender. Very fresh armor. Hmm. Reminds me of the Puck Slime Runners. Very tough cookies. A Star Shield. Great set of armor. Yeah, very sleek, very spacey. The Shield of Infinity. I love how regal this one looks. I feel like Ivor might have been running out of ideas when he made it. Dragon's Bane, so cool. Oh, great name, too. Color me impressed. I am. Swordbreaker, nice classic name. Awesome modern look. I think that one might just be my favorite. Seriously. Yeah, that one? Glimmering diamonds and shiny gold. Tim would have looked great in it if he was real. So much pomp for a guy who never actually existed. Non-existent guy's loss, my gain. How cool is redstone-infused armor? Eligard was incredibly crafty. Oh, I wonder what sort of awesome redstone contraption she'd be making these days. Ah, adamantium impervium. I always suspected this one was Ivor's favorite. I think he just liked saying the name. Oh, wow. Is that... Yes, it is. It's Tim. Hey, everybody. Tim is here. Woo! Uh, excuse me, Tim. Long story, tell you later. Fine. Now that's more like it. Agreed. Hey, uh, can you just give me and Jesse a minute? Huh? Aww. Listen. With the heck mouth and everything, I feel like I didn't get to properly apologize. 
for all the stuff with my sword, Champion City. So, I'm sorry. You won't hear it again, so don't get used to it. I'll totally deny everything later. Yeah, I'm sorry too. I hate it when we fight. It's the worst. You know I'd do anything for you, right? I know. Okay, now with that sappy stuff out of the way, let's go find us a sea temple. Jack, Nurm, you guys ready to go? Always. So where are we going exactly? It's time to chart a course for Doom Sea. Oh. Shut up, Nurm. It's an awesome name.